Yo what is up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can change the slash command permissions on discord this is a new feature that they just rolled out so the way that this works is we all love these slash commands in the discord service for an example if I press the slash button all these slash commands pop up here and you can pick and choose which ones you want to use on the various bots that are in the server now as an admin of the server or the server owner you can now change these permissions so like certain people can use commands and certain people cannot certain people can use specific commands and certain people cannot so i'll just show you how that works just go ahead and go into your server as the server that you own and then you want to click on the drop down arrow at the top left where your server name is and then you want to click on server settings and then you'll notice a new option here that says integrations if i click on integrations you can see here this is where all the bots that you've added into your discord server will appear in this list here and you can create things like web hooks and channels followed and you can learn more here i'll do a separate video on web hooks but the way that this works is for an example if i click on the me6 bot you're going to now get this page where you can now edit all the permissions for the slash commands so here you get roles and members for an example if i want to turn off all the permissions for everyone in the server for this bot i can toggle that switch down and then save the changes and then what this is going to allow you to do is you can now add in new bots and without people going crazy with the slash command the moment you add it you can now as the admin turn off all the slash command permissions and then get used to all the commands yourself before you go back in here and then turn it on so that's a cool feature and then you can like add people here so if i click on add roles i could add for an example this specific user and if i don't want that user to be able to use commands i just make sure it's on deny and then that person won't be able to use commands i could add another person so say this person and then i click on add and then i can allow the commands for that person so you get some fully customizable options right now so that's pretty cool then you can come into each individual command itself and edit that as well by default they're all going to be pretty much synced so for example if i click on the slash join for the me6 i'll just save the changes if i click on slash join for me6 what i can do is deny or approve permissions for this specific command for certain people so now if i want this person to use the command and this person not to and you can add all the different people here whoever is in your server and you can just edit it like that so i'll just turn it on for both of them for an example and then you can go and choose which channels can use these commands and you can add channels here so if i want the game hub channel to use these commands i could add that one in there and then i just have to turn it on and then save changes so that's pretty cool you can have some pretty good fun with this go ahead and edit them how you like and here you just get a explanation of all the different granted permissions and so on and so forth and then you can also remove the integration right here so that's the new update in a nutshell if this video helped you out don't forget to drop a like onto it and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video take care